Hello everybody and welcome back to this video. My name is Vince and today I'm going to show you a pretty cool new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro where you can use text-based editing to really just speed up your workflow. So hope you're gonna enjoy and let's jump right into it. All right, so this feature came out a few weeks ago, so it's not brand brand new, but it's still pretty new and most people don't know about it. So the first thing you want to have is you want to have the text panel enabled in your Premiere Pro. So if it's not visible for you, then go here to the top to window and then make sure that right here text is uh, ticked so you have it somewhere on your screen. And after that, what you want to do is you want to select the file uh, and click on transcribe right here. So right now it's basically going to transcribe your um, clip for you and uh, boom, just like that, it's done. And you can see it transcribed the whole video. So if I scroll through it, it highlights the part where I'm currently at. And the first feature that I really like using this for is you can see where uh, there are any gaps in, in the speech. It's gonna have these three dots, right? So if I extend out this audio track, you can see that there is like a bit of a, um, you know, break here. So if I want to get rid of that, I can just click on these three dots click delete on my keyboard and j just like that it made a cut in my uh, edit so if I play this back and uh, boom just like that I edited out like a dead space and same goes you know here there is another uh, one almost one second break just click delete on that and it got rid of it and I can just go and like click on all these uh, breaks and like that I'm able to cut out all the dead space um, that I have in my footage and you can see this is so much faster than actually cutting it out on your own and for the most part it's actually very very accurate. Um, another thing that this can be very useful for this text-based editing is let's say you are reading off of a script right so you are just saying a certain uh, script to your camera well if you have repeated uh, a certain part of your you know script twice you can easily spot that here in the transcript and you can just highlight a whole section that for example you retook you can click delete and boom just like that you are able to get rid of it so you know if you are recording a video you mess up somewhere and you want to get rid of the part that is uh, messed up and you start over you just highlight it here and uh, you just click delete and uh, like that you are able to get rid of it and this is so much faster than manually having to go in there zoom in you know edit out the part then click on ripple, ripple delete which if you're not using ripple delete is super amazing just press shift and then delete at the same time and then you get rid of the dead space in the middle as well but anyway so that's one of the the main ways i found to really just utilize this new feature of premiere pro and another great way to use this is if you are trying to make like short form clips for example from a long form uh, video or just cut out a certain part uh, of like an interview right you can literally just highlight the part that you want to uh, have you can right click and keep click on copy and uh, you can copy it anywhere you want and it's gonna paste that exact part um, that you want in wherever you want to paste it right even if it's on a new sequence or something like that so this new text-based you know editing feature this is the main use case I found for it for like long uh, format videos and uh, interviews and stuff like that um, so yeah pretty pretty cool stuff also if you're recording like I said a video where it's scripted and you know you mess up sometimes whatever you can easily spot okay which one was the final take and you can just highlight all the other parts that are the, the mess ups and just uh, delete it super fast. And this can make editing uh, quite a breeze. Also, you will find that, you know, the transcript is not 100% accurate all of the time. So sometimes if you want to also create captions from it, you might have to click in here and, uh, you know, go ahead and, and make some adjustments to it. But uh, once that's done, you can also just click here on this create captions button and uh, you are able to you know create captions for the entire sequence you can adjust that in your uh, essential graphics panel you know change the font um, to your exact liking and uh, for stuff like short form clips or anything like that you can also create uh, very nice looking captions in just a few minutes so just like that by clicking that button i was able to add you know uh captions to the entire video i have a whole video on how to use captions better so this is just a quick example i haven't i would need to copy and paste the same settings to all of them or highlight all of them and then change it to the, make it look real nice but i just wanted to show you this quick 
feature. Hope you guys are going to enjoy using it and save a bunch of time. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new uploads. And also if you are interested in taking your video editing and content creation skills to the next level, then go ahead and check out Magnetic Editing, my private community in the description below. And thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.